Welcome to my channel. Today, the fifth installment of Surviving Wasteland. 1PP Hardcore, Livonia. If you've been following along this series, you'll recall the last installment, we explored Max, Nadbor, Nadbor Military, and now we're back over in Druniki after clearing a helicopter crash. I spent the night in a nearby leaky drafty shed. And today, well, God only knows what today will bring. I haven't had my morning coffee and that shot shows. And if this first encounter is any indication of how my day is going to go, I think it's going to be a long one. Alright, Drew Nikki Barrett. We're going to clear this building here and then move over across Max. There are two more barracks just east of the southern pit. And it seems like out of nowhere, I have an infected on me. Not sure where he came from, but I know where he's going. Straight to hell. It's not uncommon to find military infected at that barrack, as it is military. However, he wasn't there moments before. And he can join him, post haste. All right, back over to Max, down, through, and up over. Now the barracks that we're heading to, is just up over that hill. But I want to clear these outbuildings before we leave. All of these doors have been opened, and there's not much loot to be had. I think I'm a little late. Someone may be ahead of me. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. 80 slot mountain bag. That's pretty rare for this server. All right, I'm gonna drop this bag here. I did find out there is a six hour decay rate on bags. So if we find anything interesting here that we can't carry, we'll pop it in that bag and stash it for later. Not going to take the time doing the cisterns or the other side. We'll leave that mountain bag there. We know where it is if we need it. Now, up and over, onto the barracks, into wolf country.
picking up the faint sound of wolf in that direction. And we have a helicopter crash to investigate. And it sounds like it's just below Nadbor Military. And this is what I really love about Daisy, the spontaneity of adventure. These barracks right here were my only goal when I woke up this morning. Now, Daisy is presented another. Now in and out before the wolf show up. Alright, I want to let you cool kids in on a little secret. That mask is a no-no. It sticks out like a sore thumb. There's always room for another improvised case. Shuffle some loot and pack it in gear. Cautionary note, with the incoming 1.25 update, once you put things inside these containers and pack them in your gear, if they are on your quick wheel, you will not be able to access them. So, pack smart. All right. Ooh. There's sign a player, or unless that came in on me. Either way, I'll eat it. As I was saying, off to Nadbor Military. Well, just south of it anyway. I do believe the temperature is on a steady decline. I'm cold and wet. I need to start thinking about fire or I'm gonna get sick. And if you've been paying attention, well done, because I haven't. My gloves, my gloves are ruined and I had no clue. Pretty goddamn rookie move, not paying attention to the basics.
Well, someone's harvesting plank. Not a lot, but close. Maybe green mustache behind me. Maybe we'll check that back when we rotate out. crash is over there. I want to go down into this valley and take a look-see first. Now I don't know why for some reason but I always get lucky finding stashes in this valley. Now this is the second time in this run this morning that this has occurred. This infected, if he's with the crash, is way too far out. Meaning he's chased someone down here. Or if it's a convoy, he's too far off from the road. So I really don't know what he's doing out here. So I'm feeling a little perplexed at the moment. I'm not sure, could there be someone at the crash? We'll have to approach with caution, obviously. Or is something bigger afoot? Well, they seem relatively calm. They don't appear to be of aggroed. But that provides little comfort. The majority of the infected are on the left-hand side of the crash, so we'll wrap around to the right, creep in. Well, got ourselves a Vega. Yeah, I tried to distract them away from the helicopter, but it appears it backfired. They were aggroing to the helicopter. Now, I don't know why they can't enter or at least strike back from where they are. They're in striking distance if I am. Now I will grab that Vega, search the other side of the crash, and beat feet. 
we can definitely put that gun cleaning kit to use. All right, that plank spawn has me curious. I think I'm gonna rotate back through the way I came. And just below that plank spawn is a green mustache. We're gonna go check that out. Popular base area. And it looks like we're about to get pissed on again too. Well, there doesn't appear to be anyone based here, but still worth checking. In hindsight, I should have gathered some wood here and held out the storm. However, too close to the main road. My smoke would be a beacon to others. There's a small pond and a fishing shack not far from here. We're gonna head there, light up a fire, do some fishing, and a little cooking. fishing shack I'm heading to is just over there in the center of that pond of trees. Wonderful, I'm sick now. We definitely need to get by that fire and get as dry as possible. Sweet Jesus. CR550 Savannah. This is the gun I usually look for. Don't have any 308 for it, but I do have a scope. And I'm most likely going to regret this later, but I leave the Vega in favor of the repeater only because I have more rounds. Okay, to the shack, light a fire, do some fishing, and get as dry as possible.
and for the third time today. Where the hell are you guys coming from? There's no rhyme or reason for this type of infected to be on this island. Something's definitely going on, and I'm going to need to look into it. Alright, got to patch up and get that fire going ASAP. And we still got to do some fishing, running low on food. And again, cooking is going to be a snap with the pots that I have. I'm just going to improvise a cooking stand, drop it over the fireplace, and Bob's your uncle. Or your fish is boiled. While I craft up my cooking stand and prepare to fish, I can't help but wonder what is going on with those military infected. Why do they keep popping up in unlikely areas? Okay, now with the fire lit, let's tend to making our fishing rod. Which is totally redundant and ridiculous, as I'm already carrying a fishing rod holding 10 slots of inventory. I'm clearly not thinking. Or the server has me so far into survival mode that I'm just doing it automatically, which I think is the issue. Before I start fishing, I think I should take the opportunity to get some real firewood. Throw it on the fire to keep it going. I really should be stripping off my clothes and laying it by the fire too, but I'm unsure of server restart time, and I don't want to lose my shit. Catching this cold was quite inconvenient and a nuisance. If I can't shake it with fire and food, I'm going to have to steer myself back north and loot up around some medical centers. Excellent. Slice up this carp, slap it in the pot, <coughs> throw it on the cooking stand, and get rid of these trashy gloves, and I'll have to craft myself some more. Okay, okay, let's get this fish into us and I think we're going to ride the storm out here. Already being sick, I don't want to travel too far just yet. It's just going to compound things. I'll sit here and enjoy the heat buff. You know what? I may even grab me a nap. Let's 
All right, after a short break, I would come back. The storm would be past. Sun's almost down, but it's a beautiful day. And even better, the mystery is solved regarding the random infected. It is confirmed that the server owner has modded the server to include a spawn on you player infected event, whereby as at any given time, infected will spawn on random players that are on the server. Now, there's pros and cons to this. If you're the only one on the server, you're gonna get this consecutively. At any rate, it's gonna be very interesting. You're no longer gonna be able to AFK, that's for sure. And it's gonna keep everyone sharp and moving. I'm just north of a large military slash industrial complex area. Whereas it's a choke point in the center of three to four major valleys and roadways. I'm not sure if I should venture down there with this cold or turn back north, but it's usually a good place to find building supplies and or ammunition. I think I have enough time before the sun goes down to be able to clear this compound. It's gonna be a tight squeeze though. This coughing is really grating on my nerves. I'm almost tempted to find the necessary building supplies to create my loot, kill myself for a new body. However, in retrospect, it is a one life to live series, so I'll stick with it. Hey, NVG Headstrap.
Hey, look at that. Black pouches. We'll take those. Well, that's never a good sign when that starts happening. I haven't seen that since I switched from PlayStation 4. And usually when that starts, I have to log. So far, so good. But we'll keep an eye. There's too many infected outside now for a straight approach to the barracks. I'm going to have to wrap around, uphill, and back down the other side.
SSG-82 mid-range sniper. I really should swap this out for my uh, CR-527 as I only have one round for it and I probably have three or four for the SSG. But I don't. I leave it. <coughs> All right, onward and forward, off to the military barracks. I don't want to be caught down here at night. Metal wire. If I had the inventory space, I'd take it, but I already have some. I'd say about 20 minutes before the sun goes over the crest of those trees and another half hour before we have no light. Well that's something you're not likely going to find too often on this server. We have a vest and a KA-101 beside each other. And a sledgehammer. Man, I wish I had the room for that. That's a pretty good haul for one room. these buildings and get the hell out of here. <coughs> Had I taken the KA-101, that scope would have fit nicely, however badly damaged. Hey, second strap for MVGs. We'll pack those away. Might come across someone that needs them. CR-75. I've been holding on to a magazine for that. More black pouches.
we really don't have much time before that sun goes down. I think what I'm going to do before I leave, I'm going to lock myself in this closet. I'm going to go through my kit, organize some stuff, pack that magazine for the CR-75, and carry on. Well, nighttime's definitely upon us. Just wondering which way to go. Do I head east? South? North? Oh well, let's head into the light. West it is. Yeah, squat. All right. Over Hill and Dale we go. Hopefully we can make it back to that fishing shack before dark. Hey, Sparky Plug.
It's getting darker quicker than I anticipated. I don't want to get spun around. I think I'm going to crack off a flare. See what I mean? I almost missed the trail I need. Home sweet home again. Well, home for now. I think a good night's sleep by this fire might do me well. Tomorrow morning, we're definitely heading back up to Nadbor. We're going to wrap around the west side of the military, <coughs> back into the town to the medical center. Well, we're definitely going to have to uh, set our sights on a leather sewing kit wouldn't hurt to hit up PD as well. I could use some more 9x19. Alright, come on back for 6.